Hey guys, what's up? It's Friday, TGIF. Um, I'm really excited because we're going to be starting our new push on Monday. So some of you have been with me, I think, for this like now the third push we've done. So I don't know about you, but like I'm really excited. So I want you to try to use this weekend to get organized. Um, for anyone who's a little unclear what you should be doing, first thing is I want you to go to the top of the group. I have a pinned post. It's actually um, a video I did back in June where I talked about organizing your pantry. Just some suggestions and tips that will help you get started. That's one thing you want to watch. You want to definitely examine very carefully your package, your program. It doesn't matter if you've done it before and you're doing a new one or it's your second month or third month or you're trying a whole new thing, but I want you to I want you to know that book inside now. Like I happen to have the size book here because I was doing some work in the other group. You need to know your DVD. If you have the streaming option, I want you to know how to use it. You've got to look at your book. You've got to go shopping this weekend. You got to go shopping at the grocery store. Um, you've got to look at those food lists in either Pio or 21 Day Fix or Size and start picking some of those foods. Um, they may very well be foods you already have in your fridge, so some of that stuff might be easy to uh, just keep purchasing. If not, you might want to start thinking about switching out a few of those things that you used to eat for some better choices. It doesn't mean you have to eliminate everything, it just means slowly but surely you're going to try to replace better whole grains, better nutrient-dense food with some of the poorer stuff that maybe you used to eat. That's the um, second thing. What do you want to aim for in the 21 day push with me? Um, personal development, yes, I'm going to say it again. I know until you guys hate me. Um, you have to find a specific time to build it into your schedule. It's not going to happen by magic. When I used to live in New York City, the way I made sure I always did it was when I walked my dog in the morning, which would take about 15 minutes, I had my um, Dr. Dre beats on and I would always listen to my personal development on um, audio or I'd listen to my podcast. I no longer live in the city, now I'm out in the country, my dog uh, just goes out and walks herself. So what I do is I pick a morning time. So when I'm eating my breakfast, I make sure I have my book out, my, my Kindle, and I, I'm reading uh, The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. I make sure that I read that. I also listen to podcasts too, but you've got to pick a time. So I know I have to eat breakfast. I have to, right? Um, my kids are usually like doing their own thing and my husband's busy too. So it's not like I'm really disrupting anybody else by reading. Um, or if you're more of um, you know an afternoon person after your kids go off to school or you're in the office or something, if you have some downtime, pick a time that you know when you can do your um, PD. Again, it's not going to happen by itself. You've got to make it happen. You've got to pick a time and build it into your schedule. Other thing is I want you to aim for at least five days a week of exercising. If you want to go all gung-ho like me, you would do like six days, maybe take um, one day off. But I would say minimally, if you want to have the results, I would always aim for five. Take two days off to rest and whatever days you choose to do that, that's fine. Um, so again, grocery list, watch the video, know your DVDs and your, you know, your streaming, your computer, your DVD player, um, your meal plan booklet. Ask questions, okay? Also, there are tons of resources like sheets where you can actually like print them off and write out sample meal plans in your teambeachbody.com account. Okay, I will post a few um, uh, examples and I believe there's, there might be some in the files, but you should be writing out roughly what you're going to eat every single day, every day. Yeah, and if you don't write it down, it's, it's, you're probably guaranteed to, to not make a good 21 day push. You need to have at least a skeleton of what you're gonna eat every day. You may you know, be asked to go out to dinner, you may get invited to a party, you may have to scratch you know, you know, one or two meals that you thought you were gonna like schedule and eat, that's fine. But at least you have some base, you've got something that you can like look at in the morning and I stick it right on my fridge. I stick what I'm gonna eat in, in written form, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it goes right in plain sight where I cannot escape it. Okay, um, ask questions. Um, we're gonna have assignments uh, every day, you know, not anything too drastic, but I want you to participate. People who participate and post and are in here every day statistically always do better, right? Um, drink your Shakeology. If you're not on Shakeology, guys, now is the time to order it, okay? Get, your some, get yourself some, um, you know, like I said, I, I've been a coach now for like 10 months almost, yeah, 10 months, and um, I have not gotten sick. 
knock wood, I have not gotten sick since I started drinking Shakeology. Um, I used to get sick a lot. I just used to have cold, bronchitis, pneumonia. I was just always coughing. My nose was running. You know, I don't, I don't even buy a box of tissues anymore. Um, it's because I drink my shake and I work out every single day. So that's what I want to see from, from you guys. And if you want to do it right, that's how you're going to do it. Okay, ask me questions. All right, I'll see you later.